Welcome class. Today, since we have our Master League and Premier Cup, we're going to be going over how to look at breakpoints, bulk points, and what is a functo. I hope you guys have your notepads ready because it's time for a lesson. Just a quick reminder, if you want a better grade in class, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to see what I do in advance, check me out on twitch.tv slash super science sensei. See you there. When you guys have Pokemon inside, that might be good for PvP. When you guys are thinking about Master League or Premier Cup, a lot of times people will tell you that you should only power up Hundos. Right? Now, the reasoning behind that is because inside Master League, you can max out the stats to the highest amount available. And as such, you, if you guys have a Hundo, you guys have the best Pokemon available. Today, we're going to look at those times where you guys might not have a bunch of hundos, myself included, and you guys want to use a Pokemon that is, uh, let's say, like a 96, 93, um, or worse. And you're going to find out today how you can figure out whether or not it's useful, whether you can power it up, and so that way you can see if the Pokemon is going to be as good as a other hundo. You want to see what matchups you win, what matchups you lose, and how to look for that. Now, the cool thing about understanding how breakpoints and bulk points work is that it does not matter whether it's in Great League, Ultra League, or Master League on how you specifically look it up. What does matter, though, is that you make sure that whatever Pokemon you do decide to put in your dust for, for the matchups that you really care about the most, you hit those breakpoints and you hit those bulk points. Okay, so um, for our example of what we're going to do today for our breakpoints and bullet points, um, I'm going to use uh, the example that I have today, which is my Groudon, which I got lucky traded with a friend with Fire Punch. That is a 14, 14, 12. So Groudon's a pretty good Pokemon for Master League. Groudon that I got from this lucky trade, it wasn't a hundo, but I used the lucky trade on it, and it has fire punch, so it's legacy. And I want to figure out whether or not I should use this Groudon for Master League. Will it be good? Will it be useful? Can I use it? Now, a hundo is 15, 15, 15 across. Okay, so when you guys are looking at your Pokemon, you guys have to make sure that how to distinguish a stat. Now, for some of you guys, I know some of you guys use uh, Kalki IV or Poke Genie or any of those things. And that's really useful for figuring out what Pokemon is going to be useful as far as their stats go. But if you don't know how to read the stats themselves, let's take a look um, and make sure we know how to read our Poke stats. Let's look at how we look at our Pokemon. So, over here is my screen on the uh, left side. If we look over here for our Pokemon, we can look right here. I'm going to type in my Groudon. And if you look at your po when the leader an analyzes your Pokemon, you'll see how right here it is at 14, 14, and 12. You see how each of these break down and said one-thirds? They break down inside even portions of five. So the, if it's fully maxed out, like um, if it has a fully maxed out one, like for example, this Mewtwo, you see how it's fully red, that's going to be 15. This one, since it's about four fits filled, this is 14 out of 15. So this would be a 15, 14, 14 Mewtwo. Inside so the case of the Groudon I was just looking at though, is a 14, 14, 12. So, now when we go back to our other page. Over here, 15, 15, 15 is assuming that you have a hundo. We are going to change our numbers to 14, 14, and 12. Okay, now, this allows us to analyze our Pokemon when it comes to battling. You guys can use these numbers. You guys can plug in your exact Pokemon, and when you put it up to battle, you can figure out how well your Pokemon, the ones that you have in your inventory, are going to do against other Pokemon. But, we're trying to look at breakpoints and bulk points today. So when we're looking at breakpoints and bulk points, what we are going to do is we are going to see these numbers here, 
we're going to put in a Pokemon that's highly relevant to the meta. So let's say, since we just made a video on Giratina, let's put Giratina Altered. And now, when you look at the Pokemon, you see where it says Advanced Stance, Advanced Stats and IVs. We're going to click that. It's going to drag down. And the best possible Pokemon we can have is a Best Buddied Giratina Altered. All right? We give it the Shadow Claw moveset. Well, actually, the Dragon Breath is more common, so we'll put the Dragon Breath moveset. And we can adjust how many shields that they have. So we put like a no shield situation for both sides. We hit battle, and we can see who wins inside this type of scenario. Now, this doesn't matter as far as breakpoints and bulk points go. Whenever you look at this screen, you want to scroll down. This is nice, but once again, this doesn't matter because this just tells you the shielding situations. What we care is this part right here, where we get to break points and bulk points. Okay? If you guys look at the numbers, whenever you guys enter the numbers in for your Pokemon stats, you'll see that the attack, defense, and stamina values may change. So if I put 15, you see how that is 225.2. When I put 14, that's 224.4. So a perfect Groudon would have a 225 attack stat. Mine only has a 224 attack stat. So as a 14, 14, 12, the numbers I have to remember are this attack stat right here and this defense stat right here. At least as good as a Hundo. Bulk points is when you guys look at this part right here, the defensive. It determines how much defense we have to decrease the Dragon Breath damage that we take. So here, we need at least 167. We are at 191. So that means our Groudon here is going to be, as far as fighting against a Giratina Altar with Dragon Breath, essentially a Functo. I'm sorry, a what? A Functo. So what is a Functo? A Functo comes from a combination of three terms. So one, you guys know whenever you guys have a Pokemon that has perfect stats of 15, 15, 15, it is referred to as a Hundo. That's where the Doke part comes in. Um, you guys know that when you have a Pokemon that is not perfect, it's a little funky. That's where the Funk comes in. But when you have a Pokemon that has funky stats, but still uh, effectively acts as a hundo in a battle, so like this Groudon versus this Giratina, the matchup doesn't get changed in any way, shape, or form. We still win, we do the same damage, we take the same damage, hence we're a functional hundo, hence a functo. So it's like this matchup here, our Groudon is a functo. Let's go back to the other screen and let's look at an example where we're not a functo. So over here, I have listed a Snorlax, which I lucky traded, known as Sorrow. And the reason why it's known as Sorrow is let's look at our stats. It's a 15, 12, 13. So let's keep that in mind. 15, 12, 13. We look over here for our Snorlax. We put in our numbers 15, 12, 13. Okay. And then we're going to put it up against one of the most commonly used Pokemon inside Mash League, Dialga. Dialga, as we know, usually uses Dragon Breath, which is a very spammy move. Dialga usually has the best buddy on it. And so when we hit the battle, as expected, we lose. But that's not what makes this Snorlax sad. Let's scroll down to our breakpoints and our bulk points. Okay? For our breakpoints, there is no differential here. The lick damage is based off of 92 attack. We have max attack, so we don't even care about looking at our attack stat. But what we do care about is this defense stat. Our defense is 143. Dragon Breath damage. Let's look at this bulk point right here. If you have 104, if you have less than 143.92, you're going to be taking six damage. You guys see that? So the reason why this Narlax is named Sorrow is because it is two, it is one, not even one full point. It is 0.92 defense lower than the defense to guarantee safety. So every single time this Dialga does Dragon Breath, and we can, we can look at this. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. It does 22 
Dragon Breaths. That's 22 extra damage because of the one point of defense missing. So this Snorlax right here would be horrible for me to invest in because it gets 22 free damage by using Dragon Breath. That is approximately four weakened Dragon Breaths. Four and a half weakened Dragon Breaths. That means this Dialga is getting four free fast attacks as it's shipping my Snorlax down, right? That makes investing into this Snorlax right here. Investing into this Snorlax would be pointless. I got this from our friend who went to Korea and they traded me because they had a really uh, old one. And uh, I got a lucky trade. It came all the way from across the world. I was like, ooh, sweet, maybe, maybe. It's a lucky trade and <sighs> it's sorrow now. It's just sorrow now. Okay. So that is what you want to look at. See this ground on the other hand with much more which less impressive looking stats. Right? This much less impressive looking ground on, right? 14, 14, 12. Actually does function as a funk though. If you want to look at the breakpoints and bug points and funk though for each and every single mon and see if your Pokemon is worth investing in, then you should Go on, PV Poke. Look at the rankings. Look at Master League. And for every Pokemon you think you're going to see, so like I would suggest probably the top 30, maybe the top 40, or at least if you've played inside the league before, you know which Pokemons are going to be co common. Like for example, I would say Giratina Alter is common, Zekrom's common. These are going to be common. This is going to be common. Um, I wouldn't test for Mew usually. I don't think that many people are going to use Lugia, but you could test it anyway just to be safe. But if you want to be safe, you test the, the top like 50 Pokemon, right? You test every single one of them, and you look at how they will affect your damage. So for every single one of those, you will put in your Pokemon's numbers. You'll put in their stats. You will look at the opposing Pokemon at level 40. When they don't have the best buddy boost. And see if your break points and bulk points match up. We do. Then later we put it at level 41. Do the exact same thing. Oh, look at that. They they It still doesn't mess up any of our break points and bulk points. And if that is true for every single matchup, then you are going to be perfectly fine. A, a less specific, but more... Um, a quicker way to plausibly do this is we can go to the team builder. When you go into the team builder, you guys can put the Groudon in, and then there make it a level 41. You can put the Groudon in, and make it my not best buddied Functo. You can rate the team. We ignore all these numbers, but what we do care about is this right here. 224 wins, 33 losses, 0 draws. 219 wins, 38 losses, 0 draws. So you see, I lose 5 more matchups. So what you're going to do is we're going to take a look. We're going to put these Pokemon in for the... Um, into here. Look at all Pokemon matchups, right? We see what the numbers say. We change our value, so 41, right? So this is 37 when it's not best buddied. When we do best buddy it, it's 36, so it wins against the mirror, right? And then we can see which Pokemon, the difference between this one and the one we had, and can see where the f matchups flip. If the matchup is a not very common one, so let's say we, like, oh, all of a sudden now we're losing to, like, I don't think it would be my game, but let's say all of a sudden you're losing to like Verizian or something like that, right? If Verizian is never used in Master League, then it doesn't matter. So that means your Pokemon is essentially a Functo. If it does matter, then you probably don't invest into it. And that's how you guys want to boost up your Pokemon. Now, with that in mind, 
this is for Master League, where the top Pokemon and everything like that matters. So how would you do it if you guys are looking for breakpoints and bulk points inside Ultra or Great? Well, that's where when you guys look at Pokemon matchups, right? When we look at, let's say, like Azumarill and like Registeel. Ah, uh, Reggie. I the part where we care and the part that we look at and the part that we worry about are these numbers over here. The top level IVs to make sure you hit all these plausible matchups. Now you can put yours in and you can check your numbers compared, but this is like the best possible IVs to hit four bubble damage instead of only three bubble damage. These are the best possible IVs to, you know, well, lock on doesn't matter, but that's where these numbers come in. If you are fighting like weird matchups, there are times where being attack weighted will be useful. And you will find out whether or not it's useful by looking at this part right here where it says breakpoints and bulk points. The attack to guarantee or defense to guarantee is that means no matter how attack weighted or defense weighted or whatever the opponent Pokemon has, your stats will overcome it. The minimum is where if they have like horrible attack stats or really poor bulk, then you could possibly do more bonus damage. So this is where how you can tell where matchups are like IV dependent or not. You guys, when you guys are going to invest in Pokemon, you guys want to make sure you check out the attack to guarantee, defense to guarantee, and you guys look at these bulk points and break points. Okay, so with that said, main things to overlook. One, if you guys are going to try to invest in Pokemon, since we know that dust and candy are very valuable resources, you guys first need to check out break points and bulk points. How much attack, how much defense do we need? Two, you guys can l figure out, even if your Pokemon isn't perfect, is it a funk though? Is it functional for every matchup that matters? Three, your scouting matchups. We have to make sure that when we are looking for matchups that are going to be important, it doesn't matter if uh, be, we're missing a breakpoint for like fan fee, because no one's going to be using fan fee. But if we're missing a breakpoint on, let's say, Dugong, then that might be very critical because Dugong is pretty prevalent inside the Great League meta. So, you guys use your own discretion, use your own thought processing, figure out what Pokemon should I power into, and if I am going to do it, I have to make sure that it matches what we are looking for. Does it win the matchups I care about? Is it the same as a hundo in the matchups I care about? Am I doing extra damage or less damage for the best possible stats? If you guys hit all of this, you guys will be fine and dandy. So with that said, I hope this video helped you out. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about breakpoints, bulk points, funk dos, and scouting matchups. Uh, with that, class is dismissed. Yeah.